So I think we all know that leather perfumes are a dime a dozen when it comes to fragrances and in the industry, but here we have a suede leather fragrance with some gourmand touches, tonka bean, cocoa, almond, and a booziness of rum to accompany all of that sweet goodness. I'm excited to tell you about this brand new fragrance by a French brand called Soradora. The fragrance is called Mandorle. I'm excited for you to learn more about it in today's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's review of Mandorle by Soradora, and I tell you all about this fragrance, why I think it's so good, that combination of the suede leather, that smokiness, the rum, the spices, the gourmand goodness about it, I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or if you took something of value from today's episode. So here we have a fragrance that just came out, brand new 2022 release. I've actually reviewed a few other fragrances from this brand, Gladiator and Vanuatu, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm going to leave the links for those videos down below if you're interested in learning more about those fragrances. But we've already had a handful of releases. They were all released concurrently. And I think this house has a lot of really good fragrances to offer. So here we have one that has almond. It has a cherry like vibe in the opening. No, it doesn't smell like Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. It has heliotrope. It has rum. Tonka Bean Absolute. It has cocoa, suede. There are so many unique ingredients while still not making this fragrance overly heavy or anything like that. I also want to mention that if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance, Links are going to be left down below. There's actually a coupon code that I worked with the owner to procure. I'm not making any money off of you using that coupon code, but it's just to give you a better price on the product if you do decide to go ahead and purchase it. So here we have Mandorle. I'm excited to tell you about the smell. Let's start things off with the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you will get that combination of sweetness and spice. And you know, it's funny because the spice has two effects in here. Spice can sometimes give off a leathery aroma. It can also give off a boozy aroma. And I think the combination of spices in here is doing precisely both of those things. It's dark, it's seductive, it has a perfectly unisex quality about it, but like there's this sensual mysteriousness about it, which I think is really going to appeal to people. So in the opening, you have the heliotrope and the almond. For those of you who don't know, heliotrope is a floral ingredient that gives an almond smell, but there's a certain likability about it and there's a certain creaminess that I really enjoy. Now, the flavorful sweetness is really coming from the cocoa and the tonka bean and both of them are working hand in hand to really give this a nice bed of sweetness upon which all of the other ingredients are resting, specifically the spices and the almond and perhaps even the floral ingredient of heliotrope. But you do get this chocolatey, spicy rum with almond and it is amazing. You know, I think about it and it kind of reminds me a little bit of like an amaretto accord. If you have ever had that boozy almond, something like a Di Sirono, that's kind of what I get in the opening and I really love that. And I know that's found in a lot of fragrances, 21 Conduit Street by Jovoy or Pie by Givenchy, but I feel this one does it better than a pie by Givenchy. That's a classic in its own way. But if you're looking for a boozy, leathery vibe that's a little bit more explicit, you're gonna find it from this fragrance. Now, I know I mentioned 21 Conduit Street and even Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I mentioned a number of fragrances. This fragrance is unique. It does things its own way and it doesn't really fit within any particular mold. And I appreciate the uniqueness that is found and structured within this fragrance because if I'm going to wear something, I don't want it to smell explicitly like something else. And so you might have noticed that when I've reviewed these fragrances, whether it be Gladiator or Vanuatu, Gladiator, I mentioned Creed Aventus, but that was actually like an extra version of Creed Aventus, like a stronger Creed Aventus. In the case of this fragrance, it's kind of like a darker, more mysterious, 
more like, I don't want to use the word rugged because there aren't any rough edges, but it is like a darker version of Lost Cherry without that cough syrup vibe in the opening, if that makes sense. So it's actually very accommodating, very versatile, and I can see a lot of people really enjoying this fragrance. And then again, you give it a chance to dry down that sensuality that's coming from the suede leather and the rum and those sweet ingredients which are still lingering in the base. So I'm talking like five, six, Six, seven hours later, you're still gonna get the cocoa, you're still gonna get the tonka bean, and you're still gonna get little accents of the almond, even though it does start to taper off right around the three and a half hour mark, the four hour mark, but I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. And one thing that impresses me is that when you have a brand new niche brand, it could be niche, indie, what have you, and they release seven fragrances at once, usually one of the fragrances are good and you can skip over the remaining six. That is not the case with Sora Dora. Every single fragrance has something unique to offer. And there have been several brands that have done that or have had that profound effect. Electimus London is another one. Every single fragrance is incredibly long lasting, very high quality, very unique. The same can be said about this brand. There is a lot to discover and I know they have a discovery set. So please, you know I don't recommend blind buying. Get a discovery set. You might smell through all of the releases and decide that your favorite is Camel Oud or one of the other fragrances that I haven't spoken about yet. So I'm glad I've had the opportunity to talk about this fragrance on my channel. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I made a few comparisons throughout the course of the video, but it is a unique fragrance. And I love the interplay of all of the ingredients that there is a chance for the leather to shine. There is a chance for the rum to shine. There is a chance for the sweetness to shine. Longevity is about eight to nine hours on your skin, great longevity. Projection was great for the first hour of application. And then it stayed pretty consistent within an elbow's length and it didn't start to taper off right around hour seven or eight. Right around that ninth hour, you can pretty much reapply or apply a different fragrance if you wish. Versatility is great. I think you can wear this one all year long, although some people might not wanna wear it in the summertime when it's really, really hot outside. But if you're wearing it indoors, you can really wear it whenever you want. Perfectly unisex, somebody who's a little bit younger will enjoy this one because of the sweetness. Somebody who's a little bit older will enjoy this one because of the booze and the leather. And I think this one does give off a formal vibe, but if you're addicted to the smell and you wanna wear it casually, then of course that's on you. These are just recommendations, but because it is a special DNA, if you will, I can see this one being enjoyed mostly in a formal scenario. But again, if you can afford it and you like the way that it smells, by all means, please wear it whenever you want. And the presentation is really nice from the box, the attention to detail, the little piece of cloth on the inside, the card that has the name of the fragrance. I really do enjoy the presentation. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you're looking for a sweet and spicy and boozy leather fragrance that can be pulled off in the summertime and it has that certain aura of sensuality about it while not having this sickly sweet sticky cough syrup accord in the opening. I think you'll really enjoy this fragrance by Sora Dora. It's called Mandorle once more. Thank you for joining me. If you took something of value from today's episode, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. It's absolutely free. Make sure to hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified whenever I do upload these videos and I do upload videos on a daily basis. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or if I've given you the opportunity to discover a brand new fragrance. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.